Hi guys and welcome to Broken Game of Pets. In today's YouTube video we're going to be talking about, well, the end of keeping the certain fish species. So as you know, we recently added uh, the female, or sorry, the platy, male or sword tail, whatever it is, they keep telling it's a platy, but again, I'm still not a thousand percent sure. We added this clav white minnow and this Danio here, all from the quarantine tank. And that all went well. Add it in four days later, unfortunately, the female rosy barb died. Now, for those who know, actually, when we bought the four fish, and as I said four, we, uh, we only added three. It's because one died, and that was the male rosy barb. But now the female rosy barb's now also dead. So, we will not be keeping rosy barbs ever again. And to be honest with you, I think I've done a lot with them. And they are a great fish, not for beginners, but a lovely fish, really good. Um, quite aggressive, but really, like, colourful and all that stuff. I kept them for many years, but I think now is the opportunity for me to stop keeping those and start to move on to new stuff. And that is what we're going to be doing. So I do have a couple of plans to put in some cold water quarries, corridors, whatever you want to call them, in the tank. But we'll see how that goes. But the point is, is that there, there will not be a single roti barb to ever enter this tank ever again. Which is quite sad, considering I love that fish. It was one of my favourite species of fish. Um, I mean, the females were good and the males were even better, really, because different colours, obviously, silver, and, silver for the females and red for the males, which is, yeah, some of the only fish like that. But just a quick update for you. How's the uh, platy doing? To be honest with you, not so great, and I'm trying to get to the bottom of that. It keeps lying down. It's not like dying or anything, because it eats, it's, you know, it's up now. But like, every, like, so often it just lies down. And this platy also isn't really much of a fan of having that one in there. How's this guy doing? He is doing amazing, and his colours are... I cannot explain it to my favourite fish in here right now. And the new cloud white minnow, I've got to remember which one that is, it's that one there. You can tell the difference between the, uh, the red tails. Um... Actually, like a male and female, actually. I'd say the bigger ones are female and the newer ones are male. But he's doing fine. That The clown white minnows are getting used to each other now. So we have a couple of opportunities here. Do I, A, I don't, I don't know why I said it like that. Uh, do I put cold water quarries in here, two or three? Or do I add a couple more clown white minnows? Or do I just not do anything? Those are sort of three options we've got. I'll just leave it as it is. We'll be making up a decision shortly. But... <clears throat> those are pretty much the top three possibilities. How I'm thinking on doing it, if I was to do clown white minnows, I'd bring back two gold ones so we can have two, 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 two. Don't want to get rid of that. Um, but pretty much that's everything. I mean, the snails are doing fine. But yeah. All right, guys, that's the end of this Breaking Game of Pets YouTube video. If you enjoyed, make sure to like, subscribe, turn on those notifications, and I'll see you guys in the next video on Thursday for another Breaking Game of Pets YouTube video. That's the end of the video. Bye, guys.